this refers to the positive changes and development that occur over time, economically, technologically, environmentally, demographically, leading to an improvement in the overall quality of life, well-being and prosperity of its citizens. Such are the developments we have been experiencing since the inception of the present administration of farmer Governor Muhammad Umar Abadu. Hello viewers, I welcome you to another edition of the program Inside the Government House, coming to you from Lina TV, designed to bring to you weekly activities of the farmer governor, Muhammad Umar Babu. My name is Aisha Gambu Azim, your host. Youth are encouraged to continue to engage in meaningful dialogue as it is the effective way for conflict resolution. Acting Governor of Niger State, Comrade Yakubu Garba, made the call at the 2024 International Youth Day celebration organized by the Nigeria National Youth Council of Nigeria, Niger State Chapter, at the Justice Idris Lebo Kutugi Conference Hall in Mina. Let's see that report. The Acting Governor described the event as an avenue to recognize the potential of the youth their challenges and the critical role they play in shaping the future of the society. Comrade Gerba reaffirmed that the government's doors are always open for dialogue and believe that through constructive engagement and collaboration, issues will be resolved quickly as the state government seeks to work together with its citizens to build a peaceful and prosperous Niger state. The Chairman National Youth Council of Nigeria, Niger State Chapter, Ambassador Abdullahi Muhammad Ishak uploaded the administrations of farmer governor Muhammad Umar Bagu for the political will to develop Niger state through a new Niger agenda and his efforts in engaging various modalities in reducing insecurity in the state as well as the payment of bursaries and scholarship to Nigerites in various institutions of learning. Acting governor of Niger state, Comrade Yakubu Gerba, over the weekend, express the administration's commitment in removing barriers that hinder business establishments and growth in the state. He made this known at the maiden edition of Niger State Public-Private Dialogue organized by Niger State Investment Promotion Agency with the theme Understanding and Improving the Niger State Business Environment. Let's see that. The acting governor, who was represented by the secretary to the state government, Alhaji Abu Bakar Usman, said the government is dedicated to creating an enabling environment that will support businesses and also make available incentives as part of its new Niger agenda to revive the life cycle of micro, small and medium enterprise. We are dedicated to creating an environment that not only supports businesses, but also provides them with attractive incentives to thrive. This commitment is not just promise, but a firm resolve that we uphold in line with our vision for the new Niger. Earlier, the Executive Secretary and Chief Executive Officer of NSEPA, Hajia Amina Sunusi, has stated that the objective of the session was to enhance the relationship among the MDAs in the state, determine the basis of investment, climatic reforms for enhanced state competitiveness, get feedbacks, and discuss issues within the business environment. NSEPA is also working in collaboration with the other sister MDAs to realize the objectives of the state. Action on Business Enabling Reforms Program, SABA, a three years intervention program by the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council, PEBEC, and the Nigerian Governors Forum in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Finance, in, supported by the World Bank. In their separate goodwill messages, P3 Consultancy Limited, Mr. Nosa Osunde, and the Vice President. Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry and Miners and Agriculture, Al Haji Limon Suleiman, commended in SEPA for their efforts in improving business environment in the state, thereby assuring them of collaboration in the value of chains of various sectors. Also within the week, the acting governor, Comrade Yakubu Garba, has underscored the importance of social media influencers, bloggers, 
youth in general and media practitioner in the society therefore educating and empowering them to help in making them more responsible and credible in the society he started this at the 36 social media seminar with the team harnessing the social media for national security and the development organized by the nigerian army here in mina comrade yakuba garba observed that social media ambassador plays an important role which is cardinal to the security of the society, adding that they are at the front line in countering misinformation and building trust between the military and the public. He further noted that social media has become a powerful tool in shaping perceptions, influencing decisions and bridging communication in all spheres of life. Organized by Nigeria Army through the Department of Civil Military Affairs represents an important aspect of our collective journey towards a more secured, informed, and united Nigeria. Under a transformative drive, the Army has taken a commendable step by engaging with the civil populace through a non-connected cooperation, mainly to share national building ideas through initiatives such as this platform. It is no longer an insinuation, rather a fact, that of recent happening about this issue of child protest, we have seen the power of social media. I want to draw the attention of our youth here that the issue of decision and bridging communication in the sphere of life is very important. The acting governor said the seminar aligns with the new Niger agenda of the present administration, which has emphasized on the importance of communication, collaboration, and community engagement in achieving developmental asp aspirations. The Chief of Civil Military Affairs, Major General Nosihere Ogbo, in his address said, the participation of the civil populace in nation building is invaluable as the Nigerian army seeks to cement the mutual relationship that will promote, inform, and ensure responsible social media practices. Major General Ubu said the social media seminar and other programs organized by the Nigerian Army underscores the desire to continuously interact with critical stakeholders to seek understanding and support while strengthening the bond to collectively deal with enemies of the country. And that story wraps it up on this week's edition of the program Inside the Government House. You can send in your observations, comments and suggestions in our comment box on all our social media platforms at Lina TV 247 or visit our website on www.linatv.com.ng. I still remain your host, Aisha Gamboda, as you do have a lovely day. Bye.